the tree fell down on our street and there's no power right now. It's completely blocked the road. Our fence broke off because of the neighbor's tree that fell on their side. Uh, um, it's easily to be fixed and we put some nets so the dog wouldn't go on their side. And I'm going to show you guys our um, brooder, chick brooder that I just covered with tarp and just wrap it around with tarp and rope. And here it is. Oh, let's see how the chicks do it inside. Let's just remove all of this rope around it. I'm sure they're probably wet because of all that rain last night. Let's see how they were doing inside. Oh yeah, I put like this very long rope, thick long rope around the the brooder just to make sure it won't fly up because of all the wind that we get. Me and my husband actually talking about um, taking the chickens inside our house but I don't really want to do it because the smell of that chicken especially now we don't have light the smell of it is being there I don't really want that, so that's why they just stay here outside the house. Oh, we got 10 little chicks. They're like um, 5 weeks old. No, oh, actually, maybe just 4 weeks. They look good. They look, okay, they look good. They look wet though. So I just gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that since we don't have a heater, a light uh, right now. There's no electricity anymore. Low set yesterday afternoon. Hmm. I'm gonna just pull out all of this rope. Okay. As you can see, is also um, the brood is also standing on a four by four because we afraid it's gonna flood a little, and we don't want the um, water reach the the floor of the brooder. Okay, we should okay. Baby chicken. Mm. He wet. The whole brooder is wet. <clears throat> Let's remove the whole thing, the whole tarp. And see what's inside how wet is it and you guys be like um why there's so much rope? 
It's because <clears throat> because we don't really want it to fly away. If it's if it's a bear strong with it doesn't matter, but I just do my best, you know, to keep them away from that wind. Put a hood on in the top of it also. Oh, okay, let's see what it looks inside. Oh gosh, it's so wet and the pine shavings are all wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move all this and put new fine shavings, dry fine shavings. Make sure you know that they're standing on a dry dry area. Oh yeah, look how nasty it got in here. <clears throat> Okay, I'll be right back and clean all of this, all of this mess. <laughs> Alright, there you go. It's all clean, all dry pine shavings. I also put some uh, cardboards on the sides so that the there's still some wind right now. Uh, so that the wind wouldn't come in and they wouldn't get cold. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And it's look, it looks better now than a while ago. A while ago it was wet and everything was nasty. I already, I also poked, spoke some holes on those um on those white sheets, and so the water wouldn't uh, sit on the on the surface. Oh, there's the sand so what I'm gonna do right now since there's no electricity we ran out of electricity since yesterday and um, I'm really thinking how I'm gonna make this work out to make this uh, make all of my chickens warm well most of them are kind of energetic and you know they move a lot like what you're seeing but a bunch of them, I think there's like actually just two of them that look shivering and definitely need some warm temperature. So, yeah, like that one, that one hiding in there, she's definitely sick and she just don't want to do anything. So, what I'm going to do is put a grill in here like this so there you go here's the grill and it's doing its job this idea is actually from my husband and um, my idea is my first idea is just um put hot charcoal in a pot and cover it with um metal screen which is actually probably gonna work also but you know, the, this grill is made for it, and it's metal, and it's safer, so that um, I wouldn't burn my burger. So if you want to try this, um, you know, it's a brilliant idea, but just have to keep an eye and make sure there's no fine shaving cardboards around that um, would start a fire. Or we just cover the lid, so we avoid any fried baby chicks <laughs> and there you go they actually the chickens are happy and they i've seen a bunch of them just kind of lay down when they go underneath that grill because they want the hot temperature or the warm temperature on their chest they just kind of lay down there and they're happy so i think we will survive this Okay, hi baby chicks. 
you seem to be uh, happy right now and I'm not worrying about them dying and this all real really helps a lot so other than this one of the trick I learned about not having electricity here is you can use your solar lights uh, for indoor see we got a bunch of um, extra motion sensor lights for outdoor and what I do is I just charge it in the daytime and put it inside in the nighttime and the motion sensor I put one in my bathroom one in the living room and I get to use them when it's nighttime it's just kind of nice when you're using a light and can not candles So that's it guys, I hope you like our video for today, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, select all to get notified on my latest videos. So hope to see you again, bye!